Hi again, this will be another video on um, UI Kit and animation, UI View Animate, right? And what I'd like to talk about in this video is using transforms to animate. So normally um, we've been, or in the last couple videos, we've been using center to move our, our box, you know, to set the position of it. And we used, um, you know, frame and we can, we actually didn't animate frame, but you can animate frame to change the size of a box, right? So changing the size of the box doesn't stretch the content. It just kind of changes the canvas where the content of the box is drawn. You know, it just gives you a wider area or smaller area, right? Um, changing the scale actually stretches the content. So it makes the context larger or smaller as the size of the box changes, right? Rotation is obvious. It rotates the box. There isn't a rotation property here. We actually have to, you know, apply a rotation through transform, right? So transform lets you do three things. It lets you rotate, scale, and translate. So scale, you know, scales the thing up large and, or smaller. Um, rotate rotates it. Those are two. Those are obvious. Translate moves the element on the screen, right? So translate is the same as setting the center or the x and y with um, your frame. So you could essentially rotate, scale, and position your box all with a transform. Right? So let's take a, a quick look at transform with rotation. So I'm going to make a rotation transform here. I'll just make a variable to hold it. And then we'll use CG affine transform method. Right, And we can initialize this with um, rotation angle, scale x and y, or translate. Right, This first one right here that just says A, B, C, D, you'll have to look up the translation or the transform matrix and this lets you set all the properties of the transform matrix all at once so actually using this you could rotate scale and translate all at the same time these are kind of helper methods that simplify using the, tra the, the the transformation matrix right so here we can type in an angle and it'll convert it into values to make a translation matrix right and then I'll show you how you can combine these together to um, you know to do the same thing here but in a simpler way so um, we'll do that next, right? But first, let's just get the rotation to work. So let's choose um, rotation angle here. Now, the angle is always in radians, right? Not degrees. So in degrees, our circle, you know, going all, you know, to go all the way around the circle is um, 360 degrees. That's a complete rotation. In radians, a complete rotation is 2 pi, right? So essentially, you know, in degrees, this is one complete rotation. In radians, you know, uh, approximately two six point two eight is one complete rotation, right? Because, you know, it's like three point one four times two, right? Two pi. Um, we can actually do it with the number pi or the approximation that's on the computer. You can see we've got a double here that is um, m pi is is the number pi. Now this requires a CG float, so we'll have to convert this to a CG float first. Um, and then if we want to do a complete rotation, we should uh, multiply by 2. So let's say, you know, just for, for a starting thing, like why don't we get our boxes to rotate, um, you know, uh, uh, 180 degrees. So, you know, so this would be about 360 degrees, right? Um, maybe instead of doing that, maybe I'll divide by 2, right? Because 180 degrees would be pi because 2 pi is 360, right? So dividing pi by 2 gives us 90 degrees, right? So let's try that. And, uh, you know, I've created a, a, a transform here. In order to apply the transform, we'll um, name box, get its transform property, which is a CGA5 transform, and then we'll set it equal to our rotation transform, right? So we haven't animated this yet, but we'll do that in the next step. So let's give this a quick test. And then I've got my animation from before where the boxes slide it from the bottom, but now they're all turned 90 degrees, right? So um, let's say I want to animate that, right? So, you know, I, what I want to do is I want the boxes to start at 180 degrees and then turn back to zero degrees as they animate. So um, you could create another transform here that transform to zero degrees if you want to undo a transform and get back to your original untransformed state, like the state, 
that the box was in before we applied this transform, you can do this. You're going to use CGA find transform dot identity. Now I don't know, I, I'm not super clear on the math of this. So probably if you understood the math then identity makes a lot of sense, but that doesn't, you know, it's not obvious to find that, but essentially this will reset our transform, right? So if we rotated, you know, um, 90 degrees here, we'll set the, the transform back to the original state and that'll undo the 90 degree rotation inside the, uh, the animate call, right? So, so anyway, let's save that and we'll give it a try. So I'll, uh, I'll click the play button. And, oh, there we go. So now you can see my boxes kind of slide up and they have a little bit of a rotation to them, right? So that looks pretty cool. Um, maybe we want them to scale too, right? So let's add a scale. So now the thing is, um, you, um, we could create a scale, you know, like this, CGA find transform, you know, scale, but then we have to kind of combine it with the rotation. Like you can't, add rotation and scale you can only have one transform and the transform is really a matrix that describes all three um, rotation scale and translate right so what we do when we want to make a you know multi transform transform right we'll say scale and rotate like this we'll set this equal to rotate right so I'm going to take the transform from here and then what I'll do is I'll do dot and um, what I want here is I want, um, yeah, here it is right down here, scaled by, right? So I can take my transform and then I can call the scaled by method on it. And essentially what we're doing is we're adding a scale to the rotate. So they'll, you know, we'll combine them together, right? So I'll choose this and the scale here, um, you can type in number. So one would be, you know, essentially 100%. So maybe I'll start my... I'll scale my boxes down to 25% like this, right? And then now instead of applying the just the rotate transform here, I'll apply the scale and rotate transform. And then we can undo both the rotate and the scale with CG a fine transform identity. That's kind of a mouthful, but anyway, let's give it a try. So I'll click uh, run. And let's see. It's a little hard to see the scale there. Maybe I should make the scale even smaller. Let's actually do this. Maybe I'll make the, the duration longer. And then maybe that'll make the scale stand out better. Maybe I should make this even smaller, though. Let's see. Yeah, you can see there. You can see the boxes start off kind of small and they grow, right? So anyway, so I um, hope that's interesting. Um, you can give it, try this out and experiment with the numbers there and see what kind of effects you can create. So uh, thanks for watching.